Okay, gonna do my reaction of the Smash Bros. Ultimate Threat that is today. I wanted to do this live, but I couldn't. But now I'm gonna do my reaction of it. I don't know what to expect. I'm hoping though, Shantae. I want Shantae in Smash. Also, Shadow the Hedgehog. And just whoever else comes in. So, let's start. Simon Belmont. It's Simon Belmont, isn't it? It's Simon Belmont. Did I just hear Luigi? Oh yeah, it's Luigi. <laughs> Plunger. Luigi Mansions is a playable character now. Luigi from Luigi Mansions. Now you can play on two Luigi's. Okay, now I want a Luigi Mansions 3. <laughs> to be honest. Forget Smash, I want a Luigi Mansions 3. Oh no, he just took his soul. Okay, they kill Mario, now they kill Luigi. I think that was the death, like the enemy or boss, I think that was the, the death. And there he is. Simon lashes out. Damn, that looked a uh, long range attack. Is that holy water? Hey, that's Sheik's. That used to be Sheik's uh, move in bra and melee. Castlevania stage. In Final Smash. Hey, Dracula. Wait, who's that? You don't in this world, Richter crosses over. So, wait, is he an echo of Simon then? Or is he a pr completely new character? Oh, Archelard. I think he's in the assist trophy. So, we got two Castlevania characters, Simon and Rich Tar, and Luigi. <laughs> Luigi Mansion 3 confirmed. Sakurai! Hello. I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. This is a follow-up to our recent announcements about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Without further ado... The legendary vampire hunter from the Castlevania series, Simon Belmont, is finally joining the roster. He's been given a bit of a makeover. His signature item is, of course, his holy whip, the far-flinging vampire killer. It leaves you open to attack, and it's a bit slow. But I think it's average reach during normal attacks is Man, than any other that's the long as corns forward smash. He can move the whip freely. His special attacks are very recognizable. The axe. Cross. Holy water. Yeah, that was holy water. And upper. While they may seem simple, they are very powerful. His final smash is called Grand Cross. Simon's stage is none other than Dracula's Castle. It's the darkest of stages in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. When an attack hits one of the candlesticks, an item will appear. Ah, just like in the Castlevania games. In 
this stage, bosses from across the Castlevania series will rear their ugly heads. They make Dracula's castle feel true to the world. Yeah, it was the death of Carmilla. A werewolf? Dracula, of course, always had to have him. And question mark. And when speaking of Castlevania, you can't forget to mention the music. For this stage, we will incorporate 34 music tracks, including new and classic. Oh, Dan, that's a lot of the music. It's very popular among our music team, and they were excited to work on these arrangements. Once in a blue moon, Simon's immortal rival will appear. Dracula. So he's gonna be a stage hazard. Dracula. Reborn every 100 years, he is eternally fated to wage war against descendants of the Belmont clan. Under what conditions will he appear? Time will tell. Now for a brand new assist trophy. Alcalart, yeah. Alucard, son of Dracula, will land a steel in battle. He wields the chrysogram, transforms into a bat, and dodges attacks. So he had to move from Symphony of the Night. He's very similar to his yeah, he does. role in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Like other assist trophies, he's susceptible to attack and KO as well. Nevertheless, he'll prove to be quite challenging. And we have one more fighter for you. Wait, what you mean? I don't know, I'm talking about Richard. The vampire hunter who starred in classics like Castlevania Rondo of Blood, Richter Belmont. A Richter, I mean. Richter is an echo. Okay, yeah, I see. He's, he's an echo. Though his strength is the same, his look, voice, and animations all set him apart. Besides, the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate version of Simon can perform moves derived from Richter in his original games, so it's hard to say who's really echoing who. Oh. I hope you'll enjoy them both. So they just echo each other. Farewell. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'd like to introduce two more echo fighters from completely different series. Or oh, two more echo fighters, okay. Please take a look. Shadow, shadow, please. Shadow the hedgehog. Shadow the hedgehog. Crum, crum, crum. It's crum. It's crum. It's crum. <laughs> crum finally gets a chance. Crum joins the battle. So what do you see? A Marv or an Ike clone? Okay, that's Ike. Oh, that was Royce Fair. And he has the Dancing Blade, I think. Oh, that was Royce Neutral B2. Wait, so he a mix of Marv, Roy, and Ike? Yay, mother... Mother, daughter, and father. <laughs> Dark Samus. Oh, Dark Samus! Now we got two new Metroid reps: Ridley and Dark Samus. Mother brain, Ridley. And the same final smash is Samus. Good nice. And Dark Samus joined the battle. You may have seen this coming. Both fighters have been highly Oh, so Crumbs are Echo Roy? They're each slightly different. Well in that case I might use them because Roy is my main. As you can see, depending on your settings, you can either display all Echo Fighters separately on the fighter select screen or stack them with Oh the that's that's base. nice. When stacked, you can switch between them with the press of a button. That's nice. This time, we plan to reveal the design of every fighter before the game launches. Oh. We'll have a few more to announce later, so stay tuned. But how many? How many left? Ooh, stages. New ones. Show new ones. We're mainly including returning favorites. Living room, Gower Plane. Oh, they changed the title of that. Oh, Pokemon Stadium 1 is back. Guardian Hope. Oh, Brainstar's Depths is back. That looks beautiful. 
the sub makes it back. Uh, oh, this is the three just stage. A magic hunt. Hey, gamers back, and that's the rainy fun stage. Oh, that's the final destination. That's what it looks like. I like this Zelda music, by the way. Oh, New Dunk City. We've seen this, but only like a small portion of it. But now we're going to see how it actually looks like. They're going to show Pauline, right? Yeah, there she is. Pauline. Your dreams. Yeah, look at that. That said, for stages that originally appeared in the Nintendo 64 game, we prioritize nostalgia, intentionally keeping the classic look. The stage total is turning out to be pretty impressive. Let's compare it to the totals in previous games. A hundred. Wow, not even close. Stages is voila 103. We must be crazy if we exclude Battlefield, Final Destination, and Big Battlefield. We'd have exactly 100. But take a look at the stage selection. Hey, Gordon, please is back. Every stage can also be transformed into both Battlefield and Omega forms, so the total number of stages is actually more than 300. All of these stages can be played in eight. Oh, players. every single stage can players now. All available from the beginning. Oh. Oh, so you don't have to unlock stages anymore. Additionally, you have the option Hey, stage to hazards stages. are off. When you're looking for a change of pace and don't want to be interrupted by hazards, select this option for a less chaotic experience. Also, the order of the stages matches the order in which they were introduced in the series. Just oh, like cool. Wait, I think I just saw Mushroom Kingdom. We have a little surprise. The one in the original Smash Bros. Okay, brainstorm. Wait, what the heck? Battlefield? Oh no, Skyloft? What the heck? Check that out. While playing, the stage can transform around you. Is this like a different stage? First, oh, stage more. Then you can pick two stages on the stage select menu. Oh, I feel like they can be used in tournaments. Yeah. Like yeah, you can like. choose Smashfield, then you can go to Battlefield. Hey, Paper Mario stage. Now it's Cornelia. Oh, they brought back the F Zero stage from 3DS. For the player who wants it all, my music lets you select specific tracks for each stage, and this feature is making a return. Until now, each stage had its own set of music tracks. But this time, the tracks are organized by series instead. For example, as long as you're playing on a stage based on the Legend of Zelda series, you can pick any of the tracks included from that series. Yay. Now for the total number of music tracks from stages. This is also ultimate. 700. Oh, wow. oh 800. More than 800 tracks. I was close. Count other types of music like menus and fanfare. Then there's actually about 900 compositions. Well, Dan, that's a lot of music. In a row, without looping or stopping, there's more than 28 hours worth of music. These game franchises are a big part of video game history, and the result is a massive library of memorable music. All of this packed into one. Hey, game. Dreamland for 3DS. This in itself is extraordinary. Of course, there's a sound test menu as well. For your browsing pleasure, we've sorted all of the tracks by game series. It's like having an album for each series. 
If a track has no corresponding fighter or stage, or if it's from one title rather than a series, it can be found in the other section. You can create your own playlist too. Sort them in any order you like, anytime, as much as you want. What is this? Amiibo? New Amiibos. In handheld, oh, never mind. You can play music while the screen is turned off. It's kind of like you. Didn't the 3DS have that too? I think it did. But we're gonna use our Switch for music. We have our phones, most of us. Some of these tracks on the official website. We're planning to add selections basically every week, so please stay tuned. Rules. Some of you may have experienced the game already, but I'd still like to show you some things about the multiplayer battle rules. Now the first thing you will select is the rules. If you create your own rule set, you can immediately begin playing with those rules at any time. Oh, so you don't have to keep switching them. Stamina. In addition to time battle and stock battle, stamina battle is now treated as one of the standard smash modes. There's a different feeling of intensity in these battles. Okay, so it's the same. This time, stage selection comes before fighter selection. Oh yeah, you need to change the stage this first. This way, you can pick a fighter based on how well suited they are for the stage. Or let the last battle's loser pick the next stage to even the odds. In sudden death, you not only start with 300% damage, but the camera will steadily zoom in. This creates a nice sense of urgency. Oh come on, why do you need to do that to Roy? Final smash meter? Final smashes are now a selectable option. During a match, your final smash meter will fill, and then, once it's maxed out, you can use a weaker final smash. Oh, weaker one. Wait, so our final smash are finally be tournament legal? Things can get really flashy. If you're up for a party, please try it out. By the way, no two final smashes will happen simultaneously. Oh yeah, if that happened, that would be crazy. Battle modes? New ones, please. There are other additions to the battle modes, too. Squad Strike. We've added in Squad Strike. It's a 5 on 5 or 3 on 3 elimination style battle to decide the winner. Each player will use 5 consecutive fighters in one battle, but it might be fun for multiple players to take turns as well. Wait, so then like when you you die, We're you get the other character? Oh, tournament. Choose the number of players in CPU participants. Or tourney, I mean. The game will automatically structure a tournament bracket. Up to 32 players can join the tournament, so it's great for parties too. Smashdown. We're adding a special smash mode called Smashdown. After a battle in this mode, the previously selected fighters will no longer be available to use in the next battle. Oh. So each player must select a different fighter. It definitely pays off to be skilled with multiple fighters. You could also strategically pick a fighter your opponent is good with before they can. Training. The new training mode will oh. feature an exclusive stage. We've displayed a grid so it's easy to measure distance and more. You can also display launch distance. The red line predicts your trajectory at 0% damage, and the blue line is for 100% damage. The fighter's weight is factored in at the moment of impact. Classic mode. The single player mode. Did he fix it? Battle against a series of fighters will return in the form of classic mode. Why is there mushroom instead? Each fighter has a set series of stages and opponents they will face. Now, let me introduce you to some new items, Pokemon, and assist trophies. Watch him show Waluigi again and an assist trophy. Hey, you guys remember Waluigi? Yeah, he's doing an assist trophy. A banana? He's gonna shoot it. Yep. And then it turns to regular banana. Wow, so it just one-shots anybody? 
<laughs> oh, Killing Edge. That's from Fire Emblem. I think we've seen this before. This item. The Death Sign. Okay, so it's in chaos, anybody. Whoa, okay. Oh, isn't that from Earthbound now? Now I just realized. I think that's from Earth Earthbound. Yeah, <laughs> six damage. It can do like a 50 damage. Oh no, that was like 20? 24? 22 actually. That new Pokemon. What the heck is that? I don't know these Pokemon names, I bet. I only know like a few. Wasn't this a Smash 4, this Pokemon? Wasn't this Pokemon in Smash 4? Oh, I know this one. It's from Sun and Moon. Where's Lunar? There, there he is. Hey, Mimikyu! Eat him. Oh, nope, okay. Yeah, it's just waste. Hey, I, I know these, but I don't know their names. Mars Shadow? Hey, Ditto! They made it! They they did it! This was gonna be a Pokeball in Melee, but they couldn't do it. But now it's Zero! He's an assist trophy. No, he's an assist trophy. Ah. Uh, well his chances were low to be in the game anyway. Knuckles, we already saw him. And Crystal Rip. And <laughs> the cap trap. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Hey, that's Kirby's uh, final smash from Brawl. Uh, that's pretty neat. They ever used it as a assist trophy. Hey, Gray Fox is back. He's back as an assist trophy. I have never seen this before. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, show a nice and assist trophy. The moon. <laughs> the moon. <laughs> this is an assist trophy, that's cool. Well, rip to all the people who want to show a nice as a character. No, Ashley! Oh no, Ashley, why? So space? Adventure mode? A uh, subspace space? Or adventure mode? Monster Hunter? A Monster Hunter character. From the Monster Hunter series, Rathalos swoops in. Oh, so it's only a stage? He appears as a boss. And in an assist trophy. An assist trophy. <laughs> hey, did you know that we're gonna do that with Ridley and Bra? The they're gonna put Ridley in subspace as the boss, and then they're gonna put him in an assist trophy. That's what we're gonna do in Bra. Before we go. Oh, make it look good. Make it beautiful, perfect. Wait, what's that? Why is that blurred? Why is that blurred? Is that an adventure mode or stuff space? There's a mysterious mode here, but we can't talk about that just yet. Ah, you come on. Also, there's a dashboard on the right side of the screen. Why is that one blurred too? Can be accessed at any time by pressing the ZR button. Options and control descriptions are listed here as well. That's all for today's announcement. The entire development team is putting all of their energy into finishing the game, so please be patient until launch. Why did the screen shake? Thank you so much for watching. What the heck? Oh, 
A new character? Or is this something completely different? Subspace? Adventure mode? What what is this? Okay, so it's either a new Donkey Kong character, Dixie Kong or King K Roll, or it could be a adventure mode. Oh there he is! King K Roll to Smash! Oh, you better not. You better not. No, 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 no. You better not. Okay, there you go. There you go. Yeah, knock him out. Knock out King DDD. There you go. Kinky Girl comes aboard. Well, he's finally in. <laughs> and that's the final smash. And Diddy Kong right there. We got two new villain villains villains. Oh, they put him in. There's Simon, Richard, Crom, Dark Samus, and King K. Rule. Oh, wait, where's Daisy? They forgot Daisy, remember? Or maybe she's ready in there, I don't know. Oh, that's it. That's it. All right. That's the end. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't really that exciting. If you watch my other reaction video I did when Smash Bros. Ultimate was released. I mean, not released. When it was first shown. I was pretty much like losing my mind right there. But in this one, no, I wasn't. Simon, I kind of did expect them to be shown because you know the rumors saying oh Simon Belmont gonna be in this he's gonna be in Smash Bros Ultimate yeah it happened he cool but it was also surprising we saw Richard that but now we got two not only one but two Castlevania characters we got Krom I was more excited about Krom though Dark Samus awesome King K Rule amazing <laughs> it was fun finding that King DDD was just like King K Rule if they actually ended off right there, oh, you want a King K. Rool? Too bad he's not gonna be in it. If they actually ended off there, people would be so mad. And new modes: that uh, squad battle. What were the other ones? I forgot already. Oh, the one you had to pick a character, and then after the match ends, you can't pick that character anymore. You had to pick a different one. Got a Monster Hunter stage 2, but there's no character for it. And I think that is it. Oh, also that... What was that mode? Or that selection thing that was blurred in the menu? It was green. And there was another thing that was blurred. Oh, well, we'll find out later. And that is it. That's all I have to say. It was a great uh, direct. Give it a 9 out of 10. Okay, so this is gonna be it. Enjoyed this video? Give a like, please. Subscribe if you haven't. And join me next time for more reaction videos like these or any other videos I upload. And I hope you have a nice day too. And I'll see you later. Bye.